What if they made a ship bitter? What? What if they made another ship? Like a like a man of war. They people want that badly, but I think I was telling Kenny earlier. Uh, it's because of the server size. There's only a max of 16 players in a server. So already, if you do the max size ship for everyone, which is Galleon, that's only then four ships on the whole server. That'll make it look really empty. I need what? like 50 player servers for this game. Yeah, they should that just make good. Xbox One servers and then make servers for everyone else. Honestly, I would just prefer them to just... Not immediately, like I would say in the next two years and support for Xbox One generation. Move forward with the Xbox Series X and S and PC and increase the server size. Because it annoys me that we're held back so much by the Xbox One generation. Because that's... When did the Xbox One came out? Like, 2014? 2013. 2013? 13. That's almost a decade hardware now that they're trying to support. I'm just kind of like, just I'll let it die. And I feel bad saying that because uh, my, my brother still plays on... Actually, both of my brothers play on it. Well, they don't need to deactivate. All they need to do is go, all right, you're playing on Xbox One. You're in the 16-person servers. Anyone yeah. who plays with you is going to be on a 16-person server and your max crew is four. I, but then if you're playing Xbox Series S or PC, you're on a different server. Yeah. I feel like technically they wouldn't be able to do that just because they wouldn't be able to update the game separately for both. Look at how much, how much trouble they had with the um, arena. The reason they had to shut down arena because Kenny does knows. So I think Dorian knows, but mm -hmm. they stopped development on arena like in 2020. But then they said that they kept having to go back in and fix bugs and all sorts of stuff that was taking up so much development time that they just decided they had to get rid of it completely. They couldn't keep it running at all. It's yeah. a... well, you know the solution, right? You can actually stream uh, to xCloud from the Xbox console. That's so, true. You yeah. could get rid of Xbox One support, but have it supported through xCloud where you could just play it on there. Because it already is like that. It's actually, in some ways, you'll perform better on that because it's running on Xbox Series X hardware um, through the cloud. Right. I think it's... <clears throat> I mean, I don't play Sea of Thieves like you, you play Sea of Thieves, but sometimes when I play yeah, by myself, or if I play with you guys, sometimes I feel like it's just like an empty game. Yep. Yeah. I know it's not actually empty because it's, you know, a very small server size, but it makes it feel like there's no one actually playing the game. Because then you'll see like one or two ships your entire game. And like if I play a pirate game, I want to see a lot of ships and I want to see people be oh, yeah. pirates. You know, I don't want it to be too packed, but I would like. I want it to be Tortuga. I would, I would like maybe at least twenty players instead of sixteen. 20. That That'd would, nice. that would be like two more sloops or like one full galleon added. And I think that'd yeah. be good. Cause, uh, cause the only thing is like if, say like the thing we were doing tonight, if there was like a bunch of people in the server, mm -hmm. we would get constantly attacked so much that we would never finish our voyage. That's true, too. So it's kind of like a balancing act. Yeah. Or just have different servers. Or just have different High servers. population, low population, you can choose. Are you suggesting PvE servers? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, Kenny. You're gonna get some hate P that's a heated topic in the CUDs community. I'm, I'm, cer <laughs> I'm certainly suggesting PvP servers, like designated PvP. Yeah. If, if only saying, like, they had like a mode. Server. If only there was a mode. If only there was like a mode for just for PvP. It's like you could call like something like battle mode, arena. Nah, that's a dumb name. I don't know. Like you could you could do anything. <laughs> something like that. You know? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe everyone PvP. fights for a chest or something. I don't know. Maybe spice it up. Add, you know, add exclusive ships to that mode. Make it a team-based mode. You know. I really do wish they had like a PVP mode, but like, I, I, I want the I want arena back because I like the arena. 
but add like oh, really? LTMs to it as well. So like you could have like a battle royale mode where it's like last ship standing wins. You could do other stuff. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. That'd be neat. See if know. these Man two four, combat though. evolved. <laughs> <laughs> My whole brain, my whole brain right now is just like ah, man of war, like a, like a giant, but then it has the two cannon decks, so you get the cannons on top and underneath, and make it like a six-player mm -hmm. ship. Ooh. Yeah. And then just, imagine yeah. like an arena mode where it sits v sits. So if you had six people, you, you could do it. You could have a. Uh, you could even do like three ships, three of those man of war ships in another server. Like if you made like a specific game mode for it. Yeah, it's, it's like a specific game mode where you have like. A, Three Mans of Wars going at it. It'd literally be the final scene of like what was that? What was the Pirates of the Caribbean movie that had them in the whirlpool? As uh, World's three, End right? or World's Tide or something? I think so. Yeah, World's yes. End. Yeah. Heck yes. That'd be everything. Make that. I need to rewatch that again. It's been a while. That's my that's my least favorite of the trilogy. The first one's just so much better than all the other ones. I, I really like the first and the second one a lot. I like the second one a bit more, to be honest. The first I, one like, is very was... charming, and it has a lot of, like, good references that I like, but the second one, I think, story-wise, is more entertaining. I, the, the, my problem with the second one is, I used to like second one more. I, Laura and I went through the trilogy recently, and I went, gosh, this is not a coherent story. <laughs> this is a mess. What do you mean? They get stuck it's on a, a cannibal's mess. island. <laughs> Well, there's like a billion things that happen. It's just like a bunch of stuff, and then it doesn't even end. Uh, like, the first one's like a complete story. Mm -hmm. And it, it has a beginning, a middle, and end, and everything about it is fine. It's just a fun blockbuster. Yeah. Uh, the second one has its moments. Like, the dice game is incredible. The Cannibal Island's kind of fun. The, of course, the final battle between Norrington, uh, Will, and Jack is amazing. Like, there's great stuff in it, but it's just, like, it's just a bunch of stuff. Bruh, it doesn't feel coherent. The jar of dirt, though. He had a jar yeah, of dirt. Yeah, but, <laughs> but no Barbosa until the last second also sucks. Because Barbosa's amazing. Jar of dirt? Barbosa's. Jar of dirt's pretty good. And if you have a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. <laughs> But also, I like how Barbosa's this deadly pirate. All he wants to do is eat a gosh darn apple. Yeah. Yeah, that, he that just, was He just wants one. that apple. Yeah, I like the first one a lot. I love the rowboat scene just at the very beginning, where like it looks like he's like this coming in on like a beautiful ship and then just shows him in like a leaky rowboat and then it's like sinking by the time he lands at the dock. Yeah. That movie's so good. I I got it on 4K recently and watched that, and I was like, "Ooh, this is nice." Nice.